Anyways. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to New Life Plus. I'm your host, Eric Mayer. And I'm Tom. Today, I have for Tom the ultimate Thanksgiving quiz. When this comes out, it's going to be probably, I don't know, three to five days till Thanksgiving, depending on how quickly I start editing. Um, so we're going to do a little Thanksgiving quiz just to see how smart Tom is. I'm smart. I'm going to go with that. <laughs> uh, if you guys notice, our wall is a little different. We got a, little, a couple shadow boxes. We did some new art. You can see that up there. Uh, that episode will be coming out soon. We did a paint along with Bob Ross, so keep your eyes open for that. Um, yep. As soon as I get made lazy butt moving and actually edit the episode, you'll see it. Um, yeah, they came out pretty nice. I'm excited. So, Tom, are you ready for the ultimate Thanksgiving quiz? I, I mean, there's nothing but excitement in this voice. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, we looked at that one earlier, Sonic. Okay, that one's stupid. Is Thanksgiving celebrated in the United States, Tom? Is this a true question? <laughs> <laughs> <That's what I'm... laughs> All right, Tom. Okay. Question number one. Number one. The Greek goddess of corn is who? A. Demeter. B. Demeter. Cornucopia. Demeter. <laughs> See, Cyrus. It's Demeter. It's Demeter. No, you're wrong. <laughs> it's actually Wait, Demeter. No, it's actually Demeter. I was going to say. <laughs> How'd you know that? Confidence. Confidence? And a lot of good guessing skills. Jesus. I, I would have said cornucopia. I guess there's a thing in the middle. It's obvious. But, like, that is obvious. Okay. The first department store to hold a Thanksgiving parade was... Macy's. I know Macy's is now. I know it's now. I, I'm it's hoping not that... Macy's. What do you want? Do you want the rest S of the answers? Sears. No, we got Montgomery <laughs> Wards, J.C. Penney's, Gimbel's, Macy's, or none of the above. None of the above is stupid. Get rid of that. Okay, get rid of that. One of them, I believe. Gimbel's. It was Gimbel's. I don't even know who Gimbel's is. Nope. <laughs> I, I, I guess why I guess not. And maybe it was like an old name for a store, something like that, or it just went out of business. You no, know, Gimbel. You got some audacity even having Thanksgiving Day Parade without it being Macy's. Yeah, I'm watching you. Dude, I don't even watch the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade anymore. I never did. Really? No. Like when I was a kid, I used to watch it. It was kind of interesting, but it's like, eh. Not that cool. Have you ever went? Blues. No. I don't think I would want to go either. No? Like, it's a cool parade, but at the same time, there's so many people there. I would just have no desire to be in that crowd. That's fair. And what are you celebrating? Just Thanksgiving? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Just, just to see the parade, I guess. You see, I don't even want to go to New York New Year's Eve. Forget going to... Is it New York? Yeah, Times Square. Yeah, for, forget, for, forget... That would be in, intense. Yeah. Actually ridiculous. I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't want to do that either. That'd be way too much. I heard that you can't even move. Yeah, and I also feel like it's not as fun as it is made out to be. Like, what do you do? You just stand there all night? And drink. And drink. But and I mean, drink. you can stand and drink anywhere. I guess they do, like, concerts and stuff. Yeah, but I don't care. No, 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 no one really cares. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all butter right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Butterball says that once the turkey is done, you should let it stand for 15 minutes before serving because A, so you don't burn your tongue when you eat it, B, it's easier to carve, C, to let the aroma go through the house, or D, to let the stuffing cool a bit before you take it out. I'm a master chef. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So... But wait, this is super important. Oh. I found the secret ingredients to Tegan cookies, and we're going to make them. Is it love? No. Oh, what There's is it? actual secret ingredients that Tegan cookies. People listening, our friend Tegan, when he first came to hang out with us, he brought these cookies. Every time, Tegan. Every time, for like the first couple months. Yeah, I Tegan. think it was a bribe to make us like him. <laughs> but I regret liking him ever since. These Tegan, we call them Tegan cookies because Tegan brought them. But they were the they are still to this day the best cookies I have ever eaten. It's insane. Yes, they are. But we that's that's gonna be our, that has to be our next video. We're gonna recreate or attempt to recreate Tegan cookies. What's he, whisper? Don't actually whisper. That's the... no, no, no. It's it, it will be revealed later. I I can't let that information out to the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's too important. How did you find out? He was a little vague about it. Like I got two very key ingredients, but the rest of it he's like you gotta figure out. Tegan? Yeah. I'm watching you. I don't know how it... We were talking about some other food, or like baking or something like that, and one of the ingredients in that food, he was like, oh yeah, that's in Tegan cookies. Really? And this is also the what's in Tegan cookies, and I was like... 
My mind was blown. Can I take a guess as to what one of them is? Yeah. Is one of them peanut butter? No. I thought peanut butter was in it, too. Wow. But he said there wasn't. Huh. He said that a while ago. Wow. He might be lying, though. Have you seen him? He looks I wonder like a liar. if we could get Tegan to make a batch of Tegan cookies so we can, like, compare and contrast. Like, have him make a batch and then we use those to, like, try to recreate it. We have to, we, do we have to bribe him to do this? Probably. We're probably going to pay him. Yeah, it's a lot fine. Of money. It's worth like yeah, five thousand dollars. We know the re- if we figure out the recipe to Deacon cookies, we're opening a shop. Screw this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're just making a cookie store. <laughs> what? I'm watching you, Chips Ahoy. <laughs> <laughs> going coming. down. All right. Uh, let's do another. To make the question. turkey carving easier. Make turkey carving easier. Uh, yeah. No, it was actually. I think it was to let the stuffing cool before you pull Who it out. Who cares? Who makes stuffing in turkey anymore? I don't know. I don't make turkey. Because, like, we've, we've always done stuffing, like, in a pan. And then you just put it on the side. And then, and you, just, like, then you just yeah. eat it out of the pan, yeah. But I guess people actually, like, make it in turkey. These white people. Hence the term stuffing. Uh, there might be actually, like, another term for it if you don't make it in the turkey. I remember hearing that somewhere. I don't know what it's called, then. Like, bread? No, they say it's stuffing on the, on the packaging. I oh, wouldn't use packaging. We use it from scratch, son. Oh, you're stuffing. Crap. <laughs> Leave. No. Get out of my house. This is my house. Get out. <laughs> All right. Next one. Mm-hmm. Question seven. Or four. Where I started later in, so I don't know what question number it actually is. The Indians who were invited to the Thanksgiving feast were of the Wampanoag, Wampanoag tribe. I'm, I'm sure I'm butchering that word. Wamp, Wampanoag. Wampanoag? Try I'd womp your nog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who is their chief? Who? A. <laughs> Massasoit. B. Pemaquid. C. Somerset. Or D. Squanto. I feel like Squanto is so wrong. So do, do you remember the, did you ever watch like the Squanto? Um, is it Squanto? It was A. Massasoit. Okay, cool. No, Squanto was like... The Native American who was either like imprisoned or like taken back to the new back the, to England, br- the British or settlements. In... Maybe he actually went all the way back to England. I thought there was a movie about Squanto. I'm not gonna lie. There was a movie about Squanto. No, we okay, watched so... it in elementary school. I don't remember what happened. To it. I remember he w- he was like taken into white culture and like was trying to adapt to it or something like that but he was like an emissary adapt? or something like that i don't oh. know exactly what he was he was either like a prisoner a prisoner or an emissary huh. and like dude i wasn't paying attention to that stuff in class i was no. like those are the best history days. why do i care yeah right that was my that was my thought rationale no but like one I, I remember watching the movie and it was i think it was decent uh what was the sh- name of the ship the pilgrims came over on mayflower got it who was the captain of that ship <laughs> I didn't know this one. <laughs> um, is his name John? No. Smith. <laughs> John the Smith. Pocahontas guy. John, John. <laughs> Dude, we should do a Disney quiz because I kick your ass. Um, is that a challenge? That is a challenge. We're gonna. I'm, I'm throwing in the hat. <laughs> I'm throwing down. Oh, throwing in the hat. Sorry. Right that into the microphone. Really... <laughs> Sorry. Throw in, throw in the hat down. I don't have gloves, so I can't. Dude, I would trust you in like the ultimate Disney quiz. <laughs> no chance. You think this is amateur hour? Are we adding the new new TV or new movies too, or just the old ones? I'm gonna say all Disney. Oh no, oh, damn! I have not been keeping up with the new ones. I'm not gonna lie. I've been slacking my Disney game. Dude. But the I can new catch Disney up. Disney movies to are so good. Like, did you ever see Moana? No, I did not. The music in that is so good. It's really, it's like really good music. Just haven't had time. I don't watch any movies I don't recently. Know what, I haven't watched a movie in a long time either. No, yeah. it's just been working. We've been watching Which that. Sucks. Don't have a girl. You've been watching Haunting Hill House with us, right? I watched the first night and then. Yeah, we watched yesterday. It was at work. I know. You, watched, you should catch up. I, why? It's good. It's really good. It is. Yeah, is I don't want to spoil anything. Is it it's spooky? Spooky. Yeah, it's spooky. Big spook. That I know we're past Halloween, but we're going to talk about this anyway because it's. Spooky. Scary. Um, <laughs> skeletons. <laughs> but, no, like, after watching, we've been watching Haunting of Hill House at Michael's house. Our friend, he lives a couple of the town away from me. 
And driving home after watching it is so unsettling. Yeah. Like, I gotta put, like, a podcast on or something. Because <laughs> it's just, like, driving home in the dark by yourself after watching something like that just gets me. What about being home alone? I don't mind being home alone. It's just, like, well outside. I, I don't know. It gets me. Huh. I mean, woods are creepier than the house, bear. Mm-hmm. I mean. I never found, like, woods creepy. What? Like, there's so many things in the woods. No, like, woods in general. It's just, like, after watching a movie like that, I, I just get unsettled. Like, regardless, I guess. But, like, once I'm inside, I feel like I'm like, oh, I'm going to save sound. I'm good. But, the whole, but I'm guessing the whole movie was about a haunted house on the hill. Yeah. That's about it. Eric. <laughs> I don't know, man. All right, um... Which president was the first to establish Thanksgiving as a legal national holiday holiday to be held on the fourth Thursday in November? Uh, George Washington. Well, that's not even. A, I'll give you the. I'll give you options. We've got Abraham Lincoln, mm-hmm. Franklin D. Roosevelt, Thomas Jefferson, or James Madison. Franklin D. Roosevelt. You got it. Wow, smart cookie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm guessing. Shh. Okay. Ooh, in Canada, they celebrate Thanksgiving... Boxing Day. In what month? What? Uh, uh, never mind. Continue. Called? Boxing Day. They celebrate Thanksgiving in what month? They have Thanksgiving? Yeah, apparently. When's Boxing Day? It's fake what? Thanksgiving, clearly. When, when is Boxing Day? What's Boxing Day? I don't know. It's Thanksgiving. It's December? Who knows? Is it in December? No. January? It's in, it's in October. February? Right? Second Monday in October. March? April? I feel like May. I knew that, because our friend Tasty, or Nick... We call him Tasty because he's, cause he's <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because it was one of the ga- his name one of the games. He lives in Canada, and I remember him talking about having Thanksgiving early. But also, like, where does their Thanksgiving come from? I don't know. Independence from who? I don't even know who it's from. Was it Independence? Day I mean, thing? or wouldn't it be Independence? No, that's uh, Thanksgiving is not Independence. I'm, I'm stupid. Gonna, I'm gonna look this up because I'm Fourth of July is our Independence Day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Why would they have Thanksgiving? They're not even in the same country. I, don't, I think it's different than ours, though. It's called Boxing Day. That's all I want to know. Why is it actually and Thanksgiving? It's a holiday. It's Boxing Day, then. I don't know what Boxing Day even is. I don't know. I learned I learned as a child that it wasn't where people just start boxing. Oh, it's a harvest festival, I guess. Oh, dude, I go to a harvest festival. Have you ever been to Oktoberfest? Hmm... Not right here, I don't think. No, but I, I want to. Do you want to go to Germany one year? Absolutely. That'd be awesome. That'd be so great. Next year, going to Oktoberfest. It's in September. September? Yes. I would. I would definitely do that. I want to go to Germany anyway. Uh, that would be so much fun. We. I'd be down with it. I'd be down. Mm-hmm. We can do all the fun German things, like drink beer and drink beer. Yeah. Also, so all the- over there, right? drink beer and eat sausage <laughs> and play soccer. And play soccer. They, 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 that's, those are the three things. Anything else? It's a lie. Yeah. How many times have you been in Germany? You go like, like seven. Yeah. yeah. I've been a lot. Time. Germany's wicked fun. I have, fa- I have family there. Uh, my grandparents live there, and we just crash with them, and it's a good time. Yeah. It's a good time. Yeah, if you have a place to stay, it makes traveling a lot easier. It does. And cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like a plane ticket's not that expensive. No. A few hundred, couple hundred dollars to get across. The hardest part is finding a place to live. We can find mm-hmm. hostels. Or we can just be like, Grandma or Oma, Opa, has to eine Zimmer for I would stay at your grandma, grandma's house. What? I would stay at your grandma's house. I don't know. She's, she's a very nice lady. I met Michael's grandparents once, and they were super nice. They live in, like, South Carolina. We oh. stayed at their house for a while. When we went cross country. Oh, yeah. Nice. How was that? That was a ton of fun. It, actually, I take that back. It was fun. But sitting in the car for eight hours a day, like, we were huffing it. We were trying to get, like, across in a week. Okay. So, I'm like, eight hours a day in the backseat of the car. Got old quick. But, like, stopping in all the places was really fun. Why did you go? Where where did you go and why did you go there? We went. Where did we start? We flew out to Las Vegas. What did you do in Vegas, (laughs) Eric? No, that was actually the worst. I want to go back to Vegas because we weren't 21. So, we could do nothing. Hmm. Like we couldn't gamble, we couldn't drink, we could do absolutely nothing. Um, we were like 19 at the time. Ah, um, okay. So we didn't stay there. We saw like Chris Angel, which was super cool. The Mind Freak guy. He was, that was a fun show. Um, we just hung out, walked on the strip, did some shopping, that sort of thing. 
Did you get did you get any uh, trading cards? I sure. Uh, never mind. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually that's the fun. on on the strip. They hand out trading cards for strippers, like trying to get you to come <laughs> to their to whatever club they own or whatever. So if so, Michael at one point was like, "Oh, we should just collect some stripper trading cards and make a game out of it." <laughs> <laughs> no, from there we went to Grand Canyon. How was that? I, I always wanted to go. Um, Big hole in the ground. That's it? That's it. Oh. I thought it'd be awesome. I mean, it's cool to look at. Like, it's, it's cool. It's a big hole in the ground. Like, a really big hole in the ground. But, like, after you look at it for, like, ten minutes, you're like, all right, I'm done. That's fair. We did a little bit of hiking around it, but, like, none of us were, like, dressed to actually hike. I would like to go, like, actually hike there. I know there's some trails you can do, and that sort of thing. So we're going to Vegas and then the Grand Canyon after we go to Oktoberfest. I wonder if you can, like, go down to it. I don't know. Like, if one of those hiking trails actually down into the canyon. Because that'd be really cool. I would love to do that. I'd be down. Mm-hmm. Maybe, we have to take, maybe, maybe we take a helicopter ride. Maybe. I don't know. That'd be fun. That'd be really fun. But no, after that we did... Did you see the boil's largest yarn, yarn ball? No, where's that? I don't know. <laughs> I just assume that's something in the Midwest. Sorry, oh, Midwest. <laughs> I think Gardner has like the world's largest chair. It's known as like the chair city. It's, I, that's really cool. Yeah, it's kind of, Gardner has a big chair in the middle of it. Because <laughs> they used to make furniture. Like it was like the furniture city. Okay. Or town, I guess. Furniture isn't really a city. But no, then we also we went to New Orleans, which was a ton of fun. I heard New Orleans, New Orleans is a place to go. A lot of fun. That I heard cool. New Orleans is. Uh, it's basically the entire place is just a party. Yeah, no, I heard that. Want to go? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, absolutely. let's do that again. We weren't twenty one, which is a real bummer. <laughs> I'm surprised they just didn't let you party. I'm sure we could have, but it was like. We you went with Janine. Yeah, we went with Mike's sister Janine, yeah. which was cool. She's 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 fun. She was cool. Um, I'm surprised she didn't leave you guys. No, she was chill. She oh, hung out. That's fair. So, um, that's kind of day. Those are kind of like the big three that I remember. We stopped. At, we stopped in South Carolina to see Michael's grandparents, which was fun. Nice. Um, and we did some things there. We done like a museum tours and stuff like that. Um, we drove through Washington and saw some things. We didn't actually stop, but we drove through it. But no, it was a cool trip. If you ever want to do it, you should do it. All right, Tom. Okay. Another Thanksgiving question. Thanksgiving question. This this episode is really just going to be us talking, and then we'll do a question every once in a while. You can't so tell me how to this live really my this life. Is come down to. I'm going to get a hundred. I think I got like. I four think you've already. already missed a few. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What is the original name for the pilgrims? The Puritans or Separatists? The Partisans or Davidsons? Dividends. Um, the settlers or colonists or journeymen or seekers? Aren't they Puritans? Yes. Okay. Cool. We want to purify the Church of England from Catholic influence. Yeah. Or separatists. Forget separation in one nation. When I hear separatists, all I think of is... Indivisible, liberty, and justice. Are we saying the Pledge of Allegiance now? We should just pledge allegiance at the beginning of every podcast. (laughs) I already do for school. I mean... I forgot we used to do this in school. Yeah. It's fun. I stand there awkwardly like... My back's to the children now. Are they going to attack me at any moment? <laughs> yes, the children are definitely going to attack you whenever. They're just waiting for a good time. Watch my back. Mm. I have mirrors on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Who did I see? Um, I think it was like Corridor Digital. They're, they have a YouTube channel. They were doing... The, you said mirrors and made me think of it. They were doing a like Percy's Killing Medusa challenge. Where it's like they were running around with a sword, but they like they had to fight with mirrors. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> Did the mirrors right. break? No, 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 they weren't okay. like, hitting with mirrors. Like one of them was supposed to be like Medusa and like running around being a freak. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, it was it was funny. Um. All right, this one. This is another cooking one. By the by, next year we're gonna have all the cooking ones set because we're gonna be pro cookers. I'm or already chefs. a pro for chef. chefs, not cookers. <laughs> well, I'm, you not, know, I'm not a chef, what, I'm a cooker. First, what, first rule about being a cooker, don't be a chef. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a chef. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, Butterball, I don't. I want to know what Butterball is. Is that like... Probably the person that made it? Knows. I feel like it's a cook cooking book or something like that because it's in all the cooking questions. 
All right, Butterball recommends that you cover the breast and top of the drumsticks in aluminum foil when? Right away when you first put it in, the, in to cook, when it's halfway done, when it's two thirds cooked, or at the last 15 minutes of cooking. That's a simple one. It's uh, half 15 minutes, the last 15 minutes. No, it's so close. When it's two thirds cooked. Oh, damn. Which, if you're only cooking it for 45 <laughs> minutes, then yes, you are right. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've cooked many turkeys in under 45 minutes. Oh, this is a fun one. Which, which part of the turkey is saved and snapped as a superstitious good luck costume? The wishbone. The wishbone. I was always too impatient with those. Like, you're supposed to, like, dry them out. Are you? Yeah. I do it right out of the turkey. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. No, but it's better. if you, like, dry it out, it's supposed to, like, crack nicer and easier. Yeah, but I, w- I want it to be a challenge. You're supposed to actually do it. Huh. They're wrong. You can cheat with the wishbone, by the way. Can you? Yeah, it's super Do you, like, easy. lift up? You put your thumb on the actual, like, tip of the wishbone, and instead of pulling straight back, you, like, twist up. Yeah, it's cheating, though. You got you got to fight honorably with no, Thanksgiving. No, absolutely not. You want that luck. <laughs> I'm fighting for that luck. <laughs> See the man that you really are now. <laughs> <laughs> Which Batman is... Uh, who I make my own luck. Is that Two-Face? I make my own luck, probably. I think it was him. Oh. Our Harvey Dent before he was Two Face. He had like the two sided coin that was like both heads. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Two Face was just very rude. Yeah. yeah. Harvey was pretty cool though. Harvey yeah. was actually really cool. Tell him freaking nuts. All right, the word turkey is said to come from the Hebrew word tuki, which means what? Big bird, pheasant bird, wild bird, or Turks bird? I'm not going to go with Turks bird because, no. That just makes too much sense. Yeah. <laughs> wild bird. No. What? You got the only one that was incorrect. A or B could be correct. And you already ruled out D. Big bird or pheasant bird? Huh. Big bird. <laughs> <laughs> How do you, why is that funny? <laughs> you know, it's Sesame Street. <laughs> it's fine. Well, how, did you say, how did you say it in Hebrew? Turco? Tuki. 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 I'm just going to go big bird tuki now. Tuki tuki. T-U-K-K-I. Tuki tuki. Tuki tuki. tuki. That's from something. Yes, it is. I don't know what, what it's from, that? though. Oh, my that God. That was just, like, super nostalgic. It just <laughs> punched me in the face, and I have no idea what that's from. Can we find out? Eric, look it up, please. Dookie, dookie. Dookie, dookie. Oh, it's... It's definitely, um... Like, Steve Irwin. Not Steve no. Irwin. What's the, what's the other nature guy's name? No, it was from a cartoon. <clears throat> Wasn't it? I think so. I have no idea. And now you get to hear me talk. Do you well, me? The world is a wonderful place. No, it's a movie. I want to say it was like... It was a definitely like a little cartoon character, I thought. It was. That's going to bother me. Type in Tookie Tookie Disney. And then Disney? Probably. Yeah, that's probably makes sense. No. No. Oh my god. We'll find this what later. What is that from? It's, uh, George of the Jungle. Oh, George of the Jungle. He has a bird. It's a bird that goes tiki tiki. I think George. It, George. George of the Jungle. I'm going to make sure. Tiki. Tiki. All right, let's see. I think I'm right. <gasps> I'm going to play it right now. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> How did you I don't know how I remember that. I really hope that came through. Oh, oh yes, if it didn't, I'm going to put that in there. <laughs> uh, ooh, 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 ee, uh, what was it? Tuki tuki. Tuki tuki. I can't believe I pulled, pulled that on my butt. I'm so happy I did, though. Dude, Turns of the Jungle. I used that, was to think, that was a great movie. movie. That was, it was the, so good. That, oh my god. Prime. It was like Tarzan, but better. Maybe not better, but it was like. Tarzan it was Tarzan in like modern time like instead of him saying in the jungle and then Jade yeah. coming back it was the other way around Roll, gender roles reversed got him well at one point Tarzan goes to like England or something doesn't he maybe in the second one probably in the second one I never watched the second yeah, one yeah I always ignore the sequels like a lot of Disney movie sequels are bad most of them are did you ever see Lion King one and a half no that was I actually love that kid as a movie that kid as a movie I love that movie as a kid 
<laughs> I have not though. I've never I seen it. Speak. It was like behind the scenes of the Lion King. What? So it was like. I think it was like Timon and Pumbaa were like the main characters, and they were watching. It, it. was like what they no yeah. No? It was like what they were doing when everybody else was off doing other Lion King stuff. Oh, I didn't know that. It was kind of funny. I mean, oh, Timon and Pumbaa. Did you see the TV show Timon and Pumbaa? No. Dude, it was a great show. I never watched like any of the Disney Channel stuff because I didn't have cable growing up. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Poor me. <laughs> Ooh, you're right, a Tuki like, Tuki. Which president, Tom? Uh huh. Moved Thanksgiving up one week to help stimulate the Christmas shopping economy. Was it Theodore Roosevelt, John Kennedy, Franklin D. Roosevelt? Franklin White D. Roosevelt. It's fine. We already answered that one. No. It was, was it Franklin Roosevelt, but he, yeah. He probably was... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he's, the th- he's the Thanksgiving president, apparently. Represent. <laughs> Captain John Smith founded what colony in Virginia? Oh... Uh... Charleston. <laughs> <laughs> is it right? It's close. Well, what is it? Jamestown. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did he, his name is James Smith or John Smith? John Smith. Oh, why didn't you name me Johnstown? I don't know. This guy's dumb. It was probably. I bet it was like. King James or something like that it was in power or something like that. I don't know. Was there even a King James? Yes, there, there definitely there was. There probably was. There definitely was. James, come on. Yeah. The pilgrims took beer with them on their voyage, true or false? Yes. I think that's probably true, yeah. Because well, beer does not go as bad as water Yeah, does. it stays well. You can yep. hydrate with also. I know, I know that one. It's like everybody's using beer to hydrate. <laughs> it's like, and now we get it's going to be an up. exciting voyage. <laughs> there were no ship fights. <laughs> right. Butterball again nope. says that when making your turkey stuffing, you should have all the ingredients already cooked before you put it into the bird. True or false? False. True, Tom. You should make it the night before you cook the turkey. It's all butterbush is wrong. What do you put inside your turkey? Be- what do you put inside your turkey besides stuffing? Well, you do, but you cook all the stuffing before you put it in the turkey. Oh, did you know that? No, absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> 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 I think butterball is wrong all the time. So, get out of here. Get out of here, butterball. Oh, this reminds me of we do pub trivia night. <laughs> how, how, how does that on work? Tuesdays, which is actually tonight? We're going after this, but. This, this reminds me of it. It's like, one of the questions, Tegan was telling me about this, um, one of the questions was, where did, during the Revolutionary War, where did the um, Brits first land? Uh, 1812, I don't know. Think about it. The New York? <laughs> no. Manhattan? No, apparently it's Rhode Island. I, everyone else thought it was uh, Massachusetts, though, because, like, Plymouth Rock. No, that was, that was where we landed. Yeah. Yeah. That was where the the thing the pilgrims landed. Yeah, that's what we all thought the question was. No, the, the Brits. I, w- I wasn't there, but that's what they thought it was. And that's what the Brits are the musket boys. Yeah, the musket boys. Pew. Red musket boys. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shoot to see the whites of their good eyes. Good thing we're also good at history. <laughs> <laughs> we should do. We should do like a, a Tom and Eric ratchet history class. <laughs> We go back and just teach history the way we think it happened. <laughs> when the red coat musket boys marched on, marched down Massachusetts Lake, yeah, right. <laughs> we shot them when we saw the blues of their eyes. <laughs> they all, if they didn't have blue eyes, they were fine. <laughs> all right, the real Plymouth Rock is cracked. True or false? No, because rock is harder than wood. <laughs> What's that have to do with anything? Is it true or is it false? <laughs> it's true. Wait, what? <laughs> Apparently it's cracked. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> it cracked in half during the Revolutionary War when being pried from its location to put to be put on a pedestal. Why would we put it on a pedestal? It's a rock. It's Plymouth Rock. It's a rock. But it's a special rock. It's a big rock and it's special. No, I don't know why they would do that. I don't know why they like not put a plaque in it or, like, yeah, exactly. or something See? like that. That would make more this sense guy, to me. This guy knows what's good. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should go back in time. 
Do you have a time machine ready yet? Yeah, absolutely. I just got it in my pocket. I'm good to go. It's a really cool time machine. I have to have mine in my lab. Science lab. <laughs> I don't have a lab. <laughs> Dude, I wish we had a lab. That'd be really cool. All right. Indian corn is for decoration purposes only and not for cooking. True or false? Fall? True. True. There you go. <laughs> this stuff's so hard. What year did the first Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade take place? Um, what, you, what are the options? We've got 1864, 1894, 1904, and 1924. Uh, 1904. 1924. So close, though. So close. Yet so far away. <laughs> oh, that's a stupid question. My kind of dumb. No. Who, 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 these questions are dumb. Yeah. So what's your favorite food at Thanksgiving? My favorite Thanksgiving food? Yes. Oh, God. That's a tough... I like... I mean, turkey's obviously good. Green bean casserole is probably my favorite. I love that stuff. Does anybody have to spe specifically make it, or is it all green bean casserole? Either my dad or my aunt makes it every year. I think they swap. Okay. Swap off. My aunt does most of the cooking for Thanksgiving. My dad does some. We, like, bring desserts and stuff. Sweet. But no, last... One year, my like, we didn't have it. And everyone was upset. It, it like, was a riot? Yeah. It was just like... Damn. We broke plates... <laughs> My cousin was in the hospital. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was like, it was like treachery, like, or treason, however you want to say it. Porking to those dudes. Yeah. Doubly charged. But no, it was like, because like me and my sister, I, I guess Ian does like it too, but not as much. Like me and my sister really like it. Like when they didn't have it, it was like, what are you doing? Come on! <laughs> Get your act together, dad. <laughs> oh. Man, what about you? Uh, my favorite food would be lamb. It's not a traditional Thanksgiving food, I but lamb is delicious. I love lamb. Like, I absolutely love lamb. It's, it's one it's of the so best good. meats. One of the best it meats. It is the best meat. Mm -hmm. so my tender. godmother makes really, really good lamb. That's she sh she should make, some, she should make us some lamb. It's so good. She should make me some time. lamb. I'd say every time we go to the fix... This is a restaurant. Yes. Um, Very good burger. Place. I get there. It's called the Spartan Burger, which is like lamb and goat cheese. It is so good. I could eat that all day. Um, we do a couple more of these. Why not? This one. The busiest travel day of the year is what? The Friday after Thanksgiving, the day after Christmas, the day after New Year's, or the day after Labor Day. I'm gonna guess it, this is a Thanksgiving quiz. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be Thanksgiving. <laughs> you got it. Wow. Day after Thanksgiving. <laughs> It's they like, say the Friday after Thanksgiving and the day after for the rest of them, but the day after Thanksgiving is Friday. Black Friday. Are you going Black Friday shopping? Every year, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go Black Friday shopping. And every year, I don't. Because Cyber Monday's there. That's my rationale. First, Cyber Monday, first of all, is incredible. I think you can get like better deals Black Friday shopping. Yeah, but do you want to deal with the hassle? But you also like, have to wait. Got that, like you got to wait till midnight to go, and it's like, no one wants to drive to the store at midnight. No. But you have to be going there before midnight. You have to go, yeah. like, right after you finish eating, and then you're like, okay, because then you have to wait in line. Because now what they're doing, I think, is they're handing out tickets so that people are civilized or something. Not really. So they don't trample any more people. Exactly. <laughs> Dude. No, I think if I am going to go Black Friday shopping, it's definitely going to be, like, the day after. Not, like, the, not the day after, but, like... Late morning, early afternoon. Yeah, so you don't I'm have not to going deal with, like, with the it. midnight crowd. Yeah, no. Yeah. I don't want to deal with that. It's not It's not me. If I want to buy something, I'll yeah. buy it. Like, yeah, like, I'm not, I'm not getting, like, I'm not looking for anything specific. No. But if they, like, if, if you're buying something because it's on sale, are you saving money? The answer is no. But if you're going to buy it anyway, then the answer is yes. I mean, yes, but I'm not going to go buy a TV because I don't need a TV right now. That's, like, that's why I'm thinking yeah, of it. If I'm buying clothes... I need to get a TV for my room. I've been thinking about that. It's like, I watch all my TV on my computer. Now you should need to have a compu the TV hooked up to your computer. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I just need yeah. like a big monitor to put on my wall or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. I also need a new like desk chair because mine's actually a rock at this point. <laughs> It's like sitting on two pieces of plywood. It's ridiculous. I've had it for like five years, and after sitting on it for so long, it just it deflates. You know what? Great best time to do it. Black yeah, Friday shopping. Black Friday shopping. <laughs> yeah. I'll probably do like I'll probably get one side Monday. That's a good idea. Yeah, I, we'll see. I I only 
use my laptop when I'm laying down in bed. Actually, I need to get the rest of my computer parts. Yes. So I'm yeah, That's do. a good idea. I wonder if I can get any of them on sale. Ooh. I wonder if they do computer parts on sale. I don't know. Because I can get it through Am or a good chunk of them through Amazon. Check so, it out. See what they say. I had to find that. Dylan sent a picture of like this PC store. Yeah, this that looks awesome. I want to figure out where that is. Because I would love to go there. I think it's in like, Vermont because that's where he was. I mean, even if it's in Vermont, that's a couple hours drive. I would but it'd be worth out. It'd be really yeah, cool. Yeah, no, I'd drive out and go. I'll buy bottles of alcohol. Because apparently Vermont sure. has no liquor sales tax on liquor. Really? Or is it Connecticut? Vermont or Connecticut? Probably Vermont. Vermont. Just on specifically liquor? Like, New Hampshire doesn't have sales tax. I know that. Oh, never mind. We'll go to New Hampshire. <laughs> when I want to do a bunch of shopping, I know where to go. <laughs> True or false? Turkeys can drown if they look up when it's raining. Wait, what? <laughs> I really hope this is true. Turkeys can drown when they look up. If raining. they look up when it's raining, you know what? True. <laughs> it's true. That's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like look at this, like ah, it's just like forget to swallow or something. <laughs> <laughs> but if they don't look up, they're fine. That's the best part. It's just like just don't look up, dude. Don't look up. Hey, hey turkey, look up here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. Um, there's really no more good ones. No. Yeah. You know what I could go for? What's that? It's from Turkey right now. I'm hungry. Dude, I'm also hungry. I think I'm gonna wait till we go out to eat. Oh, Some yeah. Trivia night. Oh. How did the last few days of Trivia night go? I don't know. Pretty bad, I'm pretty sure. I wasn't there. Oh, no, me neither. But I know they were like dead last place. But I I wonder if there's people that actually try. They're like, oh, I'm sure trivia trivia survives. I am, it is my goal to by the time we're done doing this pub trivia thing, like we're gonna be number one. Just once. No, forever. We're gonna be number one. We need Josh because he's the king of random facts. And yeah, Erica but Coyne. He, he played last time and they still lost. And we need Erica Coin because Erica Coin is very good at that too. Yeah, he knows random crap. Yeah. Depends on what kind of random crap we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. I believe in us. We got this. I believe we'll get one question right. We'll get at least one question right. If we get two, <laughs> we're winning in my heart. Yeah. No. Well, actually, th going back to Thanksgiving, it's like my uncle like loves trivia. Yeah. Like, every Thanksgiving, you have to play trivia. Do you have, like, um, Trivia Pursuit? Yeah, yeah. Like, a Trivia Pursuit game. Sweet. But it's like, it's always like... The older versions of trivia, though. So I was like, oh, what well, was, like, popular in the 80s and 90s? I was like, I got no idea. So I was like, I answered the, question, the like, science questions, and that's it. I don't know what's popular these days either, though. Apparently, it's, yeah. it's all about Fortnite and uh, 69 and Choose World. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, yeah. yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. No, it's like, I, I know nothing about celebrities or anything like that. Like, I know, so, like, some pop culture references, but any if you want to, like, quiz me on, like, Celebrities? Absolutely not. I have no idea. Not a, not a not a chance. My life's a mess. Why would I care about theirs? <laughs> that, that's that's my rationale. Probably to make your life feel less bad. Yeah, I have video games. <laughs> <laughs> Speak. Fallout seventy six comes out today. I'm so excited for that. Did you get it? I haven't got it yet. I need to. I have not yet either. I'm going to Maine for work the rest of this week. What? Tomorrow morning. What do you mean? So I won't be back until. Friday afternoon. Are you sleeping there? Yeah. Are they like, getting paid for your sleep? Yeah, I'm nice. getting paid extra. But like, I gotta wait till this weekend to play. Just bring your laptop. I could bring my laptop to play it. I know. I guess. I might do that. We'll <laughs> see. We'll see. <laughs> but like, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm sharing room with a coworker though. So it's like it's I can't be in Discord and stuff. Eric, just blast the Discord. Then they have to listen to <laughs> just us. Get them and they'll get their own room. Like, come play with me. Oh, no, I was just saying... You... Oh, I was like, make them sleep outside. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll be fine with it. Mm -hmm. I'll be fine. No. No, I'll probably wait till this weekend anyway, just so I can, like, binge it. That's fair. I don't know. Well, I'm playing Fallout 3 currently, and, uh... It just keeps crashing on my PC. And I don't like it. <laughs> Does it really? It crashes every single time, and I'm like, well... The Bethesda. What Bethesda. you doing? What are you, what you doing? I never played Fallout 3. Playing New Vegas, I never played three. Yeah, I should I should have clarified. Just... My bad. I never played New Vegas either. I played four. That's it. Four. Yeah. Should I have to play that? What? 
I heard if uh, New Vegas was a great one, so I was gonna start with that, and then I didn't want to go from like a great graphics jump to a low, lower graphics. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. It's like there's some really good old games that I just don't want to play because they look really bad. It's like they might be great games, the story might be incredible, but if the graphics are really bad, it's like it it pulls you out of it, you know. That's fair. It's like as good as the story is, if the like feet are made of cubes. And like it's stuttering. It's like it's just it's not a fun playing experience, you know. I get that. Um, I have a question. Mm-hmm. If they remade these ge- some some of the great games, but with better graphics, would you play them? Depends on the game. It's fair. Like the Dark Souls remaster, I heard it was actually pretty bad. Pretty bad. Like they didn't do a great job with it, so I'm not gonna play that. But I would if they had done a good job. Well, like I don't understand why they re- when they remaster games, they just don't overhaul it completely but just keep the story i don't I, know i, I think, think it's the, usually just a cash grab i think it too like it unfortunately mm-hmm. but they have everything all done all they have to do is revamp the graphics yeah they have to port it to a new engine and then that too mm, i don't know i don't know the exact process but it, i'm sh- i'm sure it's not as easy as i'm as trying easy to make it sound make it but, like, sounds, but but you have everything else done. I feel like all the design is the hard part. Yeah, no, there there are a few games that I would definitely play. Like if they redid Battlefront Two, Battlefront Two, that dude, would be so fun. They will never do that. No, they won't. They won't. Oh, it's unfortunate. But it'd be so fun. Mm-hmm. I hear um, they're actually making a new Battlefront Two, like a sequel to the one that came out last year. What do you mean? Sorry, never played it. The it was like the Battlefield's Battlefront. The bad one? Yeah, the bad one. Okay. I hear they're making a sequel to it, and hopefully it's good. I didn't play the f- first one. That'd be cool. No, I'll replay that. I don't know what other games I'll replay. I don't know. I'll play Spyro again. Oh, I'd play Oblivion. Did you ever play, like, the original Spyro games? Yeah, those, those were so... I fun. played on the PlayStation 1. I don't know if those were the Yeah, games. yeah. No, that's, that's what I'm talking about. The PlayStation 1 Spyro. I just remember him having his head down going like... <laughs> yeah, you charge, <laughs> like, all the pots and stuff. It's like, Link. <laughs> that was so fun. I love those games. Oblivion would be cool. I never played Oblivion. Oblivion, such either. a good game. The graphics are kind of sh- uh, bad. The horrible. And I know, like, the AI is really bad, too. I mean... You have, to, you have to beat the computer somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do it with just skill. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, the guards will, like, face through walls and do random... Fine. Uh, it's yeah. fine. No. I should play it just for the experience. Like, I love Skyrim. Skyrim was so much fun. I, th- I like Oblivion better than Skyrim. Yeah. I do, personally, but... Elder Scrolls Six is coming soon. It's coming in like so long. What? Did they say 2019? I think so, didn't they? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking of something else. No, Eric. I heard that it was 2019. Then they're like, well, we gotta, we gotta maybe, push it back. Yeah. Oh, I just want all the Scrolls 6 to come out. When they teased it, I, I guess it was E3 they teased it. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. But I don't, all we know is that it's at Red Rock and it's called Redfall. And I want to know more. Yeah. Alright. It's about the Red Guards. Yeah, Red and, Guard. Yeah, not Red Rock. <laughs> I, was, I was like, wait, what? Shh. <laughs> no, but it should be good. I'm looking forward to it. All right. What do you think? Want to call it there? Yeah. Shorter episode, but... It was Thanksgiving. Go. It wasn't really... Yeah, this is, this is kind of a thrown-together podcast. We weren't... Hungry, too. Head. We're also hungry. <laughs> so we're going to go get food. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I know this is kind of more casual. just kind of laid-back podcast. Um, hope you had fun listening, though. Um, new YouTube, ch- YouTube channel has been updated, so go check that out. Um, we got a new banner, we got a new channel name, we got a new icon, that sort of thing. I think it looks really good. It's sweet. Let us know what you think. Um, so we got that. Um, let us know what you think of the new wall. We're going to keep decorating it, um, as we do more paint lungs or whatever stuff we end up doing on the actual channel. Um, non-podcast stuff. Um, and I'll go searching through my room for some old, older things that reminds us about the past and we'll cont- and we'll talk about the past and what they mean to us yeah we're looking for more like random stuff to put up one day we'll have to, like once we get everything up here we'll have to like go through and explain where it all comes from i'd be down with that like, we've got I'd a be- lot of like trinkety stuff that we can go through at some point or we will have more trinkety stuff so it'll be cool uh so yeah anyway subscribe like comment share what with everybody what? um we're on itunes google play share with all those like them follow us anything else um no stay beautiful yeah thanks for joining us for this more casual podcast we'll 
See you guys later. Bye.